Hello everyone! Today I want to show you all the features of Search Engine Scraper in a peak jacket. To be more accurate, we'll talk about how you can use it besides simply scraping the top 10 by a list of queries. Here is our agenda for this video. How to detect brand mentions on other websites. How to find topical forums using search operators. How to filter unnecessary results from SERPs. And of course, I will give you several useful tips how to work with Nitpick Checker like a pro. Let's start. The easiest task from our agenda is detecting brand mentions on other websites. In order to do so, open Search Engine Scraper in Nitpick Checker and enter following query. Brand name or product name minus site your site.com. For example, to find mentions of Netpeak Spider, I would use query like Netpeak Spider minus site netpeaksoftware.com. After that, choose search engine for scraping. For this task, we can use several of them at once. Number of results, I prefer maximum. Snippet types, we don't need them for this particular task, but if you need, just tick the box on. And Start the scraping. In just a few seconds, first results appear in the table. Here are several useful tips that may help you with this task. Try changing languages and geolocations in search engine settings to get results for a specific country or region. It may help you to get more results for local medias or bloggers. Okay. Also, you can exclude social medias or websites that you already know about using filters. Just exclude hosts and enter a condition for all the known websites and social medias. Also, you can try grouping by host to quickly surf through a list of uh, websites that refer to you and see a number of pages that contains uh, your brand or product mentioned. To learn more tips and use cases of our tools, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button, so I know that you enjoy our videos. If you want to find forums in your niche or exact topic threads, for example to place your links there, you can try scraping search results to save your time. In this task, we will scrape search results by the following queries. Any query plus in URL show thread.php, any keyword plus in URL view topic PHP, and several more that are displayed on your screen now. After entering a list of queries, we can start the scraping and the first results will appear in just a few seconds. By the way, since you are going to scrape a lot of results here, I recommend you connect Nitpick Checker to Capture Solving Services. You can do that in Settings, Capture tab, and I'm mostly using two capture and I'm completely satisfied with them. And to reduce chance of being banned by search engines, add several proxies. I will list my favorite services in the video description. And after the scraping is done, you can filter unnecessary results or by any parameter. For example, include only those where or in title or in description you can see a word farm and click on OK. And we can see that 32% of the pages uh, match our condition. That's it, let's uh, move to another task. There is a big variety of search operators and some of them differ depending on each search engine. But let me show you the most popular and useful of them. First of all, it's keyword, any keyword I mean, uh, file type, PDF to get only PDF documents in results. By the way, you can combine different operators within one query. For example, uh, to check if any PDF documents are indexed for a specific website, use a query like site, your site.com or apple.com, file type, PDF. Also, you can exclude specific results using minus. For example, it may be air conditioning services in Manhattan minus site yelp.com and minus site uh, pinterest.com or how to be the best SEO in the world minus site youtube.com. 
And then you can check, I think it's the most SEO uh, related operator you can, uh, and task, you can check indexing of specific folders of your website using Search Engine Scraper. In order to do so, first crawl your website with Big Spider, then export site structure report and compose queries uh, like this one. You should include site, your site.com and in URL and specific folder that you want to check. For example, if I want to check indexing of our blog posts, I would use query like site netpicksoftware.com in URL slash yen slash blog slash. Uh, in using this query, I will see all the articles that are indexed in this uh, folder. But it worth to mention that search engines limit the number of results that can be displayed per one query. It's approximately like 300 results by query, so uh, keep it in mind and compose queries uh, with folders that are not more than 300 documents uh, each. Of course, it's not suitable for million pages websites, but if you want to check a small group of pages at no cost, it's a good opportunity to do so. At the end, I want to tell you about adding logical operators to your search queries. You can use both uh, vertical bars, so-called pipes, as OR operator, combining with AND operators to get more accurate results. Let's try to find guest post opportunities straight in SERPs. Here's an example of what you can actually do with that, and I display the query on your screen. Yeah, it's a bit scary at this point, uh, but let me explain you. As you can see, I separated two parts of this query with round brackets, because I want to connect them with logic AND, while they're using OR inside of the brackets. It looks like a spreadsheet formula, and probably somebody would be confused at this point, but trust me, it's a great skill to have and just get some practice on your tasks. So using this query, we can quickly find uh, a list of guest post offers uh, without any manual surfing through the web. And as we can see, really most of them refer to guest post guest post opportunities, so we saved a lot of our time. Uh, also, you can scrape contact details from these websites, transferring these URLs to the main table and scraping on page parameters that are getting phone numbers, emails or links to social media profiles. Mostly we are interested in emails and maybe, I don't know, Twitter account and Facebook account. Enabling, uh, we enabled three parameters, then press on start and in just a few seconds you will see a list of contact details appear in a table and you can just reach them out to ask about your uh, blog guest post uh, offer. Okay, uh, and also I want to mention that we already have a dedicated video about contact details scraping, so a link to it will appear now in the top right corner. Let's quickly recap what we have learned today. Search Query is a tool that can be modified in a variety of ways to give you the most accurate results. It's worth knowing how search operators work and if they are still supported by search engines, because it's a common practice that some of them get disabled from time to time. You can find a huge number of use cases for search engines scraping, such as looking for backlink prospects, topical forums, or even indexing checks, etc. And don't forget about capture solving services and proxies during your experiments with large projects. If you have any questions, you can ask them in comments below or during an online demonstrations of our tools. You can book it following a link in a video description. My colleagues will show you the functionality of our tools and answer all your questions personally. Thanks a lot for watching, I wish you a lot of traffic and less CAPTCHAs on your way. Bye-bye.